Hi again, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the week and weekend ahead, brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Uh, it's Monday 13th of June and we've got some rain through the course of the next few days across northern and western Scotland. Um, Going to be fair for most. Pretty hot and bumpy though later on in the week as temperatures start to rise across many parts of the country and then we're in for a thundery weekend. So the message from today's forecast certainly is make the most of the flying weather that presents itself during the course of this week. Now, um, if you want to learn more about flying weather, this is your chance. If you've not been to Aviation Weather School yet, then my next online course has just been announced. It's filling up already. Um, so if you want to come along, uh, go to weatherschool.co.uk and you book your place now. It's going to take place on the consecutive Saturday mornings of the 3rd and 10th of September between 09.30 and 12.30 hours. So you can do the course in the morning and then you can fly in the afternoon. And what I do is I build your confidence in being able to make predictions yourself and be able to be confident then if you get to a location you're going to have to be able to fly back again safely and trust the forecast that you're seeing. I'll show you as well how you can spot weather windows up to five days in advance and have confidence that the weather's not going to change over those five days as well. So get yourself booked on the course now. If you go to weatherschool.co.uk, come down to aviation, click on Aviation Weather School Live Online Course and uh, just on the right hand side there you can book your place now and all the information you need to know about the course as well is contained on that page. You really will have a fantastic day. It's an enjoyable course and it's unlike any weather learning that you'll do. It'll be super to see you there. Okay, then, uh, let's take a look at what's happening. And this is the forecast for uh, Monday afternoon. Got a wall front passing its way eastwards. This brings some drizzle and generally non VFR conditions to northern and western parts of Scotland. Elsewhere, it is flyable. We've got a fair afternoon, some sunny spells around. A brisk westerly wind through Scotland, but elsewhere, the wind's generally pretty light and it looks pretty darn good. Now, for Thursday, high pressure builds across the south of the country. So I think we've got fair conditions. Broken cloud, some decent spells of sunshine. Bases around 4,000 feet, tops at about 8,000 feet. Northwest Scotland again suffering with some rain as the front moves in here. We're kind of going marginal to non VFR at times as the rain, um, as cloud settles over the hills and bases perhaps around one to 3,000 feet, tops about 10 to 14,000 feet. Winds are only looking fairly light to moderate for most of us, about 5 to 10 knots. Now on to Wednesday, fronts passing their way eastwards again through Scotland, bring some low cloud across northern and western areas particularly. Mainly non to marginal VFR here and bases I think about 1,000 to 2,000 feet tops at about 10,000 feet. Front coming into western parts of Ireland, here bases 2,000 feet tops about eight to 10,000 feet. It's a really weak affair, so I think generally marginal conditions here. Elsewhere, it looks like being another flight all day we've got fair conditions a little bit of morning mist but that seems clear and then bases of around four to five thousand feet on the tops at about eight thousand feet and then on to Thursday when high pressure is in control again some morning mist patches I think many areas uh, eastern Scotland northern England most of Wales central eastern and southern parts of England are going to be fair and bases around five thousand feet tops about eight thousand feet cloud breaking these fronts passing north eastwards do bring cloud across Ireland and western Scotland maybe a little bit of drizzle for western Scotland possibly for western Ireland but mostly it's VFRable. Yeah, there could be some low cloud drifting onto the coast, and where that occurs, we go non VFRable with base of a thousand feet or less, and the tops at about six thousand feet, but generally a fair day. Temperatures building as well, so I think we are going to be finding some turbulence across many parts of England and Wales. And then for Friday, very warm once again across eastern and southern areas. It will be flyable overall. Uh, I think we've got to be watching out though for. Um, moderate to severe turbulence at times in those temperatures across the eastern areas. Bases are at 4,000 feet, tops at about 10,000 feet. Maybe one or two localised thunderstorms developing. Cold front coming south through Scotland, through Ireland here, bringing marginal conditions just as it does. And the base is around two to 3,000 feet, tops at about um, 10,000 feet. And then we find the weather starting to spice itself up a little bit. Um, if you want an update on what's going to go on at the weekend, I send one out on a Friday. Um, so, of course, this forecast video is updated on Thursdays. But if you'd like an update on Friday of the uh, weekend forecast, I send it by email. Uh, it's just a text forecast that you get completely free of charge. Email address stays with us. So um, if you want to be 
um, up to date with the forecast for the weekend, send, send a blank email to the address you see on the screen there, aviationweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net, and I'll add you on to the weekend forecast list. But this is Saturday, look. Thundery rain developing as that cold front we just saw meets warm air coming in from the south. Looks as if that thundery rain is mostly across central and southern areas, but it could be just about anywhere. QNIMS in there, base is 2,000 feet tops, probably up at about 25 to 30,000 feet. Looking better across Eastern Ireland, Eastern Scotland, northwestern parts of Scotland probably are going to be seeing some um, showers. And then through Sunday, more thundery rain across many parts of England and Wales. Some QNIMS here, base is 2,000 feet tops at about uh, 25,000 feet, but for most areas, it looks as if it should be flyable north of that zone. I do have a big question mark, though, over exactly what the timing of that is like, where the rain is likely to be. So, uh, again, check back in for the update on that. Or if you're a WeatherWeb Premium subscriber, then you'll know that I do the fast forecast every day, and that keeps you up to date in exactly the same way as this forecast on the developments that are ahead. OK, I will leave you with that for now. Have a fantastic flying week. Don't forget, you can book your place now at Aviation Weather School Part 1. If you're thinking September's a long way away, it's not that far. Uh, and it will be here before we know it. So you could get some weather learning in on the consecutive Saturday mornings of the 3rd and the 10th of September. And I guarantee that it's money well spent. It will save you so much money in the long term um, being able to make these predictions. All presented entirely by me, but you can't have everything, can you? OK, I'll leave you with that for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.